Hello everyone, welcome to RPG 4 minute videos for developers. In this video, we are going to talk about API proxy trace and see how it works. Prerequisites for this video, you need an RPG Edge account, you can register at rpg.com slash edge. You also need basic understanding of APG API proxy, for that you can refer earlier 4 minute videos. Let's talk about API proxy in RPG Edge. As you know, RPG API proxy sits in between the client and target server and the request and response flows through RPG Edge. We do API management using policies. What if the number of policies count grows in RPG Edge API proxy and you want to debug and see what is going on inside? That's where Trace comes to the picture. We have used Trace in earlier 4 minute videos, but in this video, we're going to see Trace in detail. Let's create an API proxy to see the Trace usage. You can create an API proxy by clicking on Develop and then API proxies and then click on create new API proxy button. Choose the reverse proxy type and then click on next. I'm going to name this proxy as trace demo and use the mock target endpoint. Click on next, choose authorization as pass through and choose the defaults to create an API proxy. Let's go to the API proxy overview page and then navigate to the trace. Click on start trace session to start a new trace session. Whenever you start a trace session and any API call that goes through RPG Edge for a particular proxy will be captured and shown in the trace console. You can make a get call using the trace console itself or you can use any REST client to make a call like a call or even a browser. I'm going to make a call using the browser. The same call will be captured in RPG Edge. You can see the status of the API in our case it's 304 you can see the method that got called and the uri you can also see how much time it took to actually process the api request the transaction map shows uh, the flow of the api with all the different flows and the policies that are getting executed the client is shown with a mobile icon and uh, the circle that shows the request received from client all the flows uh, are, are shown using the vertical bars, as you can see, proxy request flow started and then target request flow started in RPG Edge and then request is sent to the target server. Target server shown here in the right hand side and when the response is received from the target server, again the target response flow will start, then proxy response flow. Then the response is sent to the client. After the response is sent to the client, the proxy post client flow will get executed with the data that is sent to the analytics. You can also see how much time elapsed in each and every milestone by clicking on that icon uh, below the transaction map. You can see what policies got executed in the transaction map if there is any policy present. Let's quickly add a pro policy to see in action. Let's add a new flow to add a policy and see everything in action. I'm going to add a new conditional flow which is nothing but an API resource. I'm going to call it JSON path and choose path and verb. So this particular flow will get executed whenever there is a path match of slash JSON and verb get. I'm going to attach uh, an JSON to XML policy in the response. After the JSON to XML policy, I'm going to attach one more policy called XML to JSON. Let's save this proxy and see uh, how the API response gets changed using the trace window. Before we navigate to the trace window, let's uh, uh, deploy the proxy since we have created a new revision. Once the proxy is deployed, let's go back to the trace window, click start the trace session and make a call to slash JSON. As you can see, uh, we got 200 response and uh, multiple policies got executed. To see what policy got executed, just click on the policy. As you can see, wh when the response came back from the server, we got the JSON and when the JSON to XML policy got executed, the response has been changed from JSON to XML. And when after that, when the XML to JSON got executed, the response got changed from XML to JSON. So whenever you click on a particular uh, policy in the flow, you will see what happened before that and what happened after that. And you can compare the flow variables and the response content. You can able to debug any API proxy using the trace functionality effectively. That's all about the trace. If you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions in comment.rpg.com. Thank you.